Here's the final version of the 40 meter WBR receiver, all packaged up in a little box. I got it at Hamfest a few years ago for a couple of bucks. Turned out to be just about perfect. Um, and this is the uh, finished version. Still has the uh, reduction dial on it, so tuning is nice and smooth. And it's uh, very stable. So let me uh, pop the hood here and give you a quick tour inside. Hang on. Okay. So here's how I put it together. Let me move this a little closer. I made it so uh, with some connectors and so forth that I could uh, remove the circuit board if necessary by just unplugging this stuff. These are kind of crude um, header connectors actually cut down from a single one, just whatever I had in my junk box. But there's the circuit and uh, the digital dial there. There's the uh, buffer amplifier for the dial. The dial reduction tuning pot. Over here is the actual bridge section um, with the new inductor and a um, very high quality spectrum control ceramic capacitor variable capacitor uh, <clears throat> 78L05 regulator over here 2N5458 FET a couple of 2N3904s and an LM386 and that's it and it all went together pretty good, and it, uh, it's been working fine. Okay, so here we go. We should probably uh, move this. Hang on. Okay, we'll uh, take a quick spin around the band. What time is it here? It's about 7.15 in the evening, Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, still daylight here, but the band is opening up a little bit. So I'll give you a quick uh, tune here over a couple KCs. Um, regen's not the most selective thing, but it sure does pick up a lot of signals. So. That's the regen control. You can't really see me working it there. But it has the effect of changing ever just a few hundred hertz of the frequency. Back off on the RF gain. You got to use all three of these controls uh, to maximize reception with a regen. But see, that's pretty stable. It's not affected by anything, hand capacitance or microphonics or anything. Okay, let me pause this and we'll go down and listen to CW for just a minute.
Okay, here we are down on the CW part of the band. And um, a little crackling noise you might be able to notice in the background is uh, some new kind of power line noise or I don't know if the neighbor has a new charger or something, but if I point my phased verticals in that direction, you can hear that noise power line noise come way up. And sometimes it'll go away for a few seconds, or it just went away. And it's back. I think that may be an arcing insulator on a pole somewhere north of here. But anyway, I digress. We'll go back to the southeast and just tune here for a second. It's very usable as a uh, CW receiver. You know, the selectivity is not great, but what do you expect from a regen? Um, I think it's going to be great. Anyway, that's pretty much a completed project. So another thing to uh, use for a week or two and then uh, put on a shelf. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. Fun project. By the way, it tunes from $69.98 to 7311 kilohertz and um, DC tuned the whole bit from uh, August 2001 QST magazine the WBR receiver by uh, Dan N1BYT. Nice little circuit that I just kind of made a few modifications to. Um, but uh, the actual Wheatstone Bridge design uh, came from that article. Anyway, that's it. 73. Keep tinkering. See y'all later.